Welcome back to We Talk Over the Sexy Brutal. Alrighty, so we are going to find out what happened with my tree. Also, do you want to hear my terrible story? Or do you not want to hear my terrible story? Do you have a terrible story? Oh, that I'm not going to know because I don't. Yeah. I haven't watched those shows. Maybe you need someone else's. Alright, all of you out there who know those things. Oh, what were the name of again? That was the last episode. So, say them again. Alright, so, uh, well, we were talking about a tree. And something go, to, go to the right, since we got a light. We lit up yellow and red. Man, this so story is going to be really bad. For me? For everybody. <laughs> All right, well, let's just skip it then. <laughs> All right, too long, didn't read. Dr. Phlox has sex with a tree in True Blood. All right, we're two. That actually, in that short of a setup, that there was payoff, I feel. <laughs> so we're looking for an arm. Oh, um, back to this. I feel like the tree has to grow right to the ceiling, then we climb the tree to get up to this walkway. So the tree, didn't the tree give you something? It made the light turn red. That was it. I feel oh, like that's, maybe we have to light this I feel like that's then. it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm saying. Do this we need to find an arm for Mr. Uh, I King have face. An arm. All right. You have two, but not that will work. No, we don't look up. Nothing Whoa. In here helps. What? So these are all lit up until the time of day in which they die, which is kind of neat. Oh, Nito Bandito. There's a room that we're missing. We, we haven't been in yet. It's a cemetery. Oh, it's behind the king. Yeah. You can't get there or there. And then there's this. Um, those are the walkways. Right. This is why I think the tree is clutch. But you say it's, no. And no. you know probably better than I do. I don't think the tree has anything to do more than just lighting up the red. I'm going to go check the... I mean, you can you can water it and restart again if you want. But I'm pretty sure that we need to look for an arm. I don't know that there's more to this room. It kind of sucks to come in here and only find a card. Maybe yeah. go the other... Can you walk the other way? can it? Huh. I wonder if we get it playing at the right speed. That said, I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to be playing, so I don't know the right speed anyway. There it is. Yeah. Um. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Good. Try the other way, I guess. Run toward the top. For some reason, that kind of just sounds more correct. When it's just singers making noises instead of words. It's hard to know, right? kind of seems <laughs> like it can go either way. All right, well, I guess this is it. Creepy room is not doing us any good at the moment. Let's check this room one more time. You would think that something in with body pieces involved, you might have a free arm available, but no, it needs only to be that arm. I think is the only time dropping a deuce is allowed at the table. Only a 19? On a 19? Holy shit, we're, that's uh, fucking... What's his name up there that we were listening to? Yeah. Uh, Clay, right? What was his name? Uh, maybe? On. Yeah, yeah. There's gotta be something. Well, let's keep uh, browsing the rooms. So, Destiny and its fucking experience game bullshit. Yeah. We can talk about that for a minute. Yeah. Um, it's just, that's all it says. So, if you guys don't know, you guys gotta know by now if you guys are really into Destiny. But what Destiny was doing is, without telling anybody, they were. Uh, if you were, and I don't know the details, I don't know if they released them, I've only been kind of passively uh, whew, paying attention to Destiny News. Um, did you not even, did you get the glass already? Nope, it's gone. We okay, obviously so maximized the tree. We have served, it has served its purpose. What was the desk? Is it just flavor? I think so. Okay. Uh, so Destiny, Bungie was making it to where either a certain after a certain number for that day or for that week maybe by character maybe by account who the fuck knows oh we lit up another thing i bet that that card bridge is probably filled oh it could be no nope. oh. i bet it wrong walk over to it anyway fuck go back in after a certain number of things that you were doing in the day it would basically stop You'd stop getting experience, or it would start stifling yeah, the, the experience that you were getting. Yeah, on, on, but it would display 
that you were getting full experience. Full, yeah. So the game was fucking lying to you, and they admitted to doing this on purpose. So the problem isn't so much that you got diminishing returns. If people saw that on their screen, and I noticed it, I remember thinking, yep, wait a minute, this is a fucking public event, and am I supposed to get a lot? Isn't this a good way to level? Or you'd see like plus 10k, and you'd be like, oh sweet, and then you look at the gains, and it's like microscopic. Exactly. Like, what, do I need like, need like a million XP to level up now? So the problem isn't necessarily that they did that. Or I'm sorry, that they made it to where more gave less if you kept playing on and on. It's the fact that they weren't, the gameplay was lying to you and they weren't transparent about it. The gameplay was displaying to you certain numbers, the original numbers, to make you think, hey, it's, uh, I feel like there's something to do in those rooms. Well, there's an exclamation point here now. That's just because it, we were able to go, it just showed us that that's the hidden passage we're able to go up now. We can go up to the rest of the mansion. <gasps> we know where an arm is this whole fucking time. Oh my god, the same arm? I bet. That's what I would do. Okay, how do I get there? Uh, we go around and up. It's going to be going through a lot of doors. I don't think we have time, probably, but... Today, um, it might be enough time for us to sync up to another clock, though. We have to go up here this way, right, then? Yeah. I can't actually... Can I take the mirror? Can I travel the mirror like those creepy dudes or not? No. I would say it was a lot of time. So... Wait, the dumbwaiter! The dumbwaiter! We know where the arm is! Oh, fuck me. He put it down the dumbwaiter. He put it down the dumbwaiter. Oh, good catch. Good catch. Why the fuck didn't he put it down before? Why were, why were we able to retrieve it? All we did was spin it around. We didn't pull it back up or anything. I don't know. Maybe it's implied that we just summoned the dumbwaiter. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. So, good catch, though. We might make it in time. We got an hour, which is a minute. <gasps> Maybe. Right. So, if they were stifling it because they didn't want you to take, do it for too long, that's fucking fine. Z, remember. Um, but the fact that they were basically lying with the numbers they were displaying on the screen, that was a problem. They weren't honest and upfront about something. Um, so, then, after they fixed it, they actually didn't just fix it. They, okay, we'll have to come back here later. I do remember this room, so I'll have to explain it. Okay. Um, what they did is oh, instead of that putting that it back to normal, to where you, you get what it says, they said, okay, we're going to put it back to normal. We're also going to fix, we're also going to adjust experience gains for it because it was a little too easy to get from doing public events. Instead, what they did was they doubled your experience. They didn't just fix it back to normal. They doubled your fucking experience gains from it. Why is that bad? Because, again, they weren't displaying the correct numbers. They didn't say they were going to do it. It was another case of them not being transparent about what they were trying to do. Basically, lying to their players. Again. So they were they didn't acknowledge... Do I need to grab the dumb again? I think it's all right. No. I hope not. We'd have to wait until he put it down there. No, just check the room. Okay. We lit up... Remember... Oh, it didn't light up the green when we did that. We need to do the graveyard stuff to light up the green. So let's just check and see if it's there. If it is, we'll come back. So the problem wasn't necessarily... The, again, the problem wasn't them taking away the experience. It was lying about it. Being dishonest about it. You don't have to say something, but at the same time... Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. um, the problem was the fact that they... Yeah, um, they were. They didn't. They, they didn't tell people. No the one numbers that mad. were being displayed on the screen weren't honest, and so when they fixed it and it ended up being double, that was just another thing of look, you're doing this for the players, sure, but can you stop fucking with things and stuff? So no, go to the flowers. Are you talking to me? Yes, go to the flower. I'm no, not fucking with things. No, no, no. Oh, I was talking to Bungie. Stop fucking with shit. Oh, yeah. You, go to the flowers and press Z on them to try to flip, uh, swap them out. The ones that have the blue. One oh, flower okay. replace the other. So go to another one and try to replace... Oh, wait. Because they have names. And they have Clay, colors. Red. Aurum. So he needs gold. They all have colors associated with them. I don't remember what it was. Well, Aram is gold. Just, Cl just red is Z red, and clay it, is gray. I was just, just going to say, if it's Z works, then it works. There we go. And I've got pale purple. And so. now we got a purple, so put it in place of... Because that one's still clickable, so go ahead and place it. Bam. So we still have a red flower. That door is open. Let's go in there. No. 
Oh, wow, I didn't even see that open up. Uh, uh Eleanor. Remember that name from before? She's the password. She must be special. Maybe she's the skinless woman. Did skinless woman ever give us a name? Give us her name. of her name? Yeah. Um no. Okay. She keeps she keeps referencing a mysterious he. I think that's gold face guy, right? Yeah, uh, I think so too. Probably. Yeah, no, like the bungee thing was like they could have easily just been super upfront about it all. Like, hey, look, we don't want you just spamming public events and patrols to make the, the fastest leveling process imaginable. Like, so yeah. you know, we're gonna just do this or that, and it would have been like, yeah, people would have got it. But yeah, they oh fuck, kept it all under the table in secret, and people just got pissed. Oh my god, what has he done to you? It's a Bakta tank, he's healing him. Click. No. Or... Uh, uh, what's him? This... The same voice. Is this... Maybe that's her. Ghosts are seeing real her. Take your fucking time, dude. So, Goldface, dude. Do your best Bane voice. No, I'm not doing a fucking Bane voice. Wow. The internet has already done the Bane voice. No. <laughs> oh, well, this is... No. This is utterly tiresome. I'll just give it my regular voice. I don't think I've assigned that to anybody yet. I mean, well done, and so forth. You found my secret, etc., etc. I know it must look cruel, chaining up what appears to be a madman in a dungeon. Using these mirrors to show him the guests being murdered over and over again. Tormenting him until he tears his, his tears. tear until his tears of sorrow and rage fill the tank that is his prison. But it's all a very necessary, you see. That's how you make Bakta. Yes, I can see how you look at me. But Bone, take this. Get out of here. No. No. I rather think not. Yes, that's better. I control every part of this world. Man. This creature, however, is what you might consider the battery. He is my power source, exclamation point. <laughs> the two of you were the only aspects outside of my grasp. But now, I think it's time to end this. Now, not with a bang or a fanfare, but with a simple snap of my... That was one hell of a fart. Right? A simple snap of my sphincter? What? what? Ugin. How dare. Go. Go. Sapphire Tear Ring. Run, this is very much not over. Skull Man, you're a dick. But he's a powerful dick. <laughs> I want a powerful said. dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we just had a fucking story development, so <laughs> I guess we'll explore what this. Sapphire Ring does next time because we are done talking. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>